Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here. Today we are back with another Dokkan Battle video and today I'm going to be showing you how to get HD assets. That is right. There are a couple of methods to doing this and this video is sort of a sequel on how to get normal assets but I'm going to show you all different kinds of ways today to be able to get your assets in HD. The beginning ones are going to be ones that I think are probably the easiest to do and probably what most people will go for when looking for the HD assets and then as we get later on will be some ways to make the very specific assets what you want how HD you want them, how you want them to look, so on, so forth. So, I'll explain that more in the video, let's get into it. So, to start off, um, the Dokkan Wiki does actually have the HD arts for some of the cards. If it is a card that has been in the game for a little bit, um, most of the time they will have an HD version of it. As you can see, this man does not really look that pixelated. But if it's a newer card, you can see that it's not always the HD version of it, um, just because it's newer so just kind of scroll through what you're looking for um but as you can see even just in the image size right one is clearly bigger than the other one and obviously um this one looks not as good as this one um but that is one easy solution unfortunately when it comes to lrs um that will not be the case though regardless um because they just usually have a kind of crummy png um and also when it comes to that particular card are you gonna do me dirty like that dang the wiki really did me dirty like that bro if you look at the actual page right it's going to be a gif of the unit so it's not actually going to be an HD but we will solve that problem of HD LRs later for now let's move on to the next option we have the boy Hydros now Hydros um, before he was Hydros place was actually Dokkan art because he always posts the HD Dokkan artworks of every single new card that comes out as you can see, just for example, here we have Bobby and Deborah. This video is being made when they were just data mined, so they're going to be a little bit of a feature in this video, just for an example. As you can see, HD artwork of them. Um, I will tell you that Hydros does do a little bit of editing on the coloration of the cards. So when you look at this guy in game, besides obviously the fact that this image looks like you know a lot better than what looks like in the game um, I actually have an example here of something that we're gonna use later but as you can see right the coloring on the card is a little bit different um, he usually does some color correction on the card just to make it look a little bit better um, but that's just scrolling through his Twitter. Um, he usually posts the brand new assets uh, or the brand new card art, right? And then the actual like art of the character asset um, for the card, usually close to when it releases. So if you keep an eye on his Twitter, that's one easy way to pick those up. Um, we also do have Hydros actually has another way to get HD arts with a database occasionally he updates this database basically what this is is this is a big download file of a bunch of different hd assets obviously i'm not going to download the whole thing and then show it to you because that would be so much but essentially if you download this right and you take a look in here um you can see that he has um assets for all different kinds of things right um so he updates this occasionally again if you take a look for a tweet um can we actually look at the image yeah you can see that every time he tweets one of these assets right it ends up in this github compilation here and then you can go ahead and download it um all in one place but keep in mind it's not the um regular like coloration of the cards if that matters to you it's his uh color corrected quote unquote version so that is also there if you would like to take a look at that he tweets out the update to that occasionally um and i believe he just updates it on github um every so often but if you just look at this particular github link it'll just update whenever he decides to update it so and this one he doesn't update as frequently by the way as you can see um the last one was 16 days ago and that was for lr vegeta and napa when they released again at the time of recording this video 
moving on there is one more person on twitter who does post hd assets and that is i hope i'm saying his name right atone hd um he's kind of like the hydros of japanese doke on twitter basically he just tweets out um the hd card arts just as they are um i don't know if he actually uses the method that we are going to be showing off in about two seconds here um but regardless though his are not color corrected and it's just another option for you if you would really like some more hd card art love in your life um he is a little bit inconsistent i will say with his card arts sometimes he uploads them as soon as the units come out sometimes he waits a little while um he used to post them like as soon as they came out but not anymore which is okay but he does have a huge huge database of information and he's also made some other really cool headers and um, edits to different things so if you're interested in that he is just another option for you and of course you can always just drop him a follow on twitter right and then it'll just appear on your tl regardless so there is that as well and finally we have my personal favorite method for hd assets now this is if you're looking for making the hd assets yourself or if you're looking to make different pieces of assets hd or frankly if you're just looking for just about anything <laughs> um basically you can use this on any particular image it's not just exclusive to dokkan assets but it is the easiest way to get these assets okay in hd so let's just use um deborah and bobby for an example right so we have the full card art you're not gonna be able to see this part because i'm just capturing chrome but i have the full card art already put together right so if you take that file off your computer it's going to open a little um file exploring window so then you can look through your files right and then you can click if it's artwork or a actual photo most of the time for this you're going to be doing artwork i personally think that the best settings for this are the highest setting and upscaling to two um i'll explain what this does as soon as we get it through here but let's go ahead and click i'm not a robot because you do have to do the little capacha and then it will take a second to load and then you will have it which is very very nice now i will say um the one thing that or well actually i should say this how it works first and then i'll explain why that's kind of an issue sometimes so obviously this looks really good right um it kind of gives it a little bit of a weird watercolor look um which is kind of funny but hey it looks really really good and as you can see obviously everything looks a lot higher quality um than if we just took a look at the image in the normal quality which i can pull up for you here in a second which is really cool obviously because that is a quick and simple way right here we have here let's just run it through one more time so i can show you a uh, side by side if you take a look at a zoom in right this is the normal card art obviously <laughs> looks disgusting right gross but if we take a look at the hd version even if we zoom into it it still looks really good now to explain to you in layman's terms what this is doing it's essentially merging the different pixels and what an image or what on an image is typically called a noise right even on the waifu itself it says um noise reduction right so basically all the noise in the image right it's i guess if you're like visualizing noise this is kind of what it would be like you can see for example right in this section here that is this like lighter blue section on deborah's jacket you can see that there's all these different pixels here but there's still like one section of color right so then the waifu will take it and just kind of merge all of those pixels together and make one nice looking piece right and it's essentially just doing that all throughout the image so that's the baseline of how how it works now i will say the cool part about this right is that of course because it is um a, a website that just allows you to sorry i started there because i'm getting too excited and i'm trying to not make this video too long you can do the individual pieces because it's just selecting images off of your computer right so if you've downloaded the asset from dbz space right we went over in the last video um in this little i guess mini series kind of on how to get the individual assets right uh, if you downloaded them from dbz space or if you downloaded them from me on twitter which i will actually open up dokkan assets in a second because there is one more hd thing besides this and i feel like it's important to mention um but basically you can do the individual parts now um these two images are loading here it takes a little bit of a minute for it to work because obviously it's doing a lot in the background but as you can see here right here is just the art simply of deborah and Bobbity, um and then the effect piece will pop out in a second i will tell you though the only thing that's kind of the downside with this website besides what i'm going to say in terms of 
the actual assets themselves is that this website does seem to go down a lot for me um which is kind of unfortunate especially when you're trying to make it for a thumbnail or something and you're trying to be quick so this website does go down occasionally but it always comes back up which is of course very very nice and the other thing is too sometimes if an image is already really really big it won't work and sometimes it'll pop out an error and it won't actually give you the image then you just put the image through again and then see if it works again if you know that it's an image that should work right um so just kind of be wary for that but as you can see here we can get the individual assets in hd right so this is obviously um deborah and bobby's effect piece so this is very nice too if you're just looking to like get the background of an image right and then maybe use it for a custom card or just a foam background or something like that um just like the background image that a card art uses you have that at your disposal Hey guys, post editing Epic Mewtwo here. I just wanted to share with you two things about the Waifu 2X website. One of them that I forgot to mention that was actually the downfall of the website. And the other one is an error that I actually do reference either before or after this clip. I just wanted to show you this is what the error looks like if you do end up getting it. Literally just put your image through again and it will be just fine. The other error that you'll get if your image is too big does not look like this. So if you get that particular error, just know that that's what it's going to look like and uh, then you won't be scared if you get that particular error right now moving on though i did want to share with you um one problem that the waifu does have if we take a look at an asset like this right the carter for b pan obviously she has pretty big eyes and it's not really a problem for the waifu now why do i re mention eyes specifically well that's because if you get a character with small eyes take for example super saiyan 4 goku from far away it doesn't really look too bad but because of the way it merges the pixels together right and reduces the noise sometimes some of the eyes will get a little bit merged into the rest of the piece another example of this that is pretty uh scary is the super saiyan lr goku right as you can see his eye is almost just merged into his face again from far away it doesn't necessarily look that bad but that is sort of the downside of how this program kind of merges the noise together and then sometimes it can merge little details of different cards but i only say eyes because that's probably the most noticeable thing merges them together right so i just wanted to let you know that little tidbit so you know that and you don't get scared when your goku only has one eye back to the video so very very nice while that is loading i'm going to show you two more methods that are related to the waifu um but personally i don't think are as powerful but they are options for you and that's the point of this video right to give you options we have waifu x2 multi essentially what this program does is it allows you to select multiple images at once because obviously with the normal waifu you can't just select a bunch of images and then put them through so as you can see here right you can select a bunch of different things and then it will have them go through and load simultaneously now the problem is that a um this is not the pro version so every so often you can only do a certain amount of images and b from previous experience on this um unfortunately the images don't seem to come out as high quality as they do when i put it through the normal waifu i don't know if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me but from looking at images and using this waifu for i don't know maybe like a year and a half now two years something like that it definitely works better on the solo one when it decides to spit it out right and this also takes a lot longer as you can see right that one took a while because it was a background and see look how nice that looks right um and these do take a long time as you can see this is already taking mad long and these ones haven't even started but this is an option for you especially if this one goes down and you are really in need of it um sometimes this one is up while the other one is down so this is just another option for you right now the third option related to the waifu is this right here which is a program version of waifu 2x again unfortunately i seem to have not as good results um using the program version of this rather than just the normal website it could be that i am just not doing my settings correctly and that's why i'm going to encourage you to give it a shot and try out all these different waifu based options for you to be able to get the best results for you want that you want rather for whatever project you're doing it for right 
So go ahead and just give this a download. Again, you can just kind of uh, click the download button, which should be here. Uh, download, yeah, download zip right there, because I know GitHub is kind of confusing for people who don't really know how it works. Um, but if you just hit download zip, then it'll get all of these files and then put them in a zip file, and then you'll be able to find the exe in here, um, which should just be one of these, right? So yeah, there is that version of it. Again, you're gonna have to fiddle around with the settings. I might do a video dedicated in the future to simply just taking a look at the Waifu 2X program because that can do um, a little bit more things than this one, I can't believe, even though I think this one, typically from my experience, right, kind of has a better output, but this one is a lot more simple and user-friendly in my opinion. Um, also too, there is a nice little demonstration on this where they show you the difference um, between some other image, uh, like, HDifying programs, right? And not only that, showing you how the actual image looks and then um, what it looks like when you put it through the actual thing, right? So that's really cool, just for kind of showing you a better example of how it works, right? Shout out to the girl Miku, of course. All right, so the last thing that we're going to take a look at here is actually Dokkan Assets, funny enough. And the only reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to bring up something that will kind of be an end-all, be-all to this statement, um, because I say it in like every news video, right? There is a way to get HD card art assets um, without doing any of this extra stuff, um, and they actually come straight from the game now the problem with that though i will tell you uh, is that you kind of just have to wait for it to happen which i know sounds little a little weird but let me explain this for you so basically if we take a look at the story assets right whenever dokkan adds assets to the story assets and what i mean by story assets by the way because i know some people are always confused when i say this I mean like the story in the actual events, right? So this could be for story events themselves, right? This could be for the in-between interactions in Dokkan events, right? You know, like you're facing Golden Freeze and he's like, oh, you're really powerful, you know, but let's see if you can handle this, you know, and his next stage comes or whatever like that. That's what the story assets are. They are the actual story that happens in Dokkan. Now, whenever images of characters are added to the story assets they are always in super high quality compared to the ones that are in the game we'll give you a little side by side here um, for go tanks so i believe that this is the case i don't know why they necessarily compress the cards i will tell you because if you're looking at the actual card art the quality of the card art itself is a lot lower than the one that's in the story assets which is so funny to me because people have been asking for hd assets for so long now and they do exist right it's not like they make the images if we take a little zoom in here we can see yucky bro look at all those pixels and look at all that noise they do have hd versions of these assets if we zoom in here right you can see that this one oh is it not going to do it how i want it to dang it here i'll open it a new tab then they do have hd versions of these assets right even here we can see comparatively yikes bro there's a huge difference there so they do have hd versions of these assets i assume it's to save game space but that also kind of doesn't make sense because of other things that they do in the files but that's another conversation but just know that card arts right when they're added to the story assets and whenever you see me tweet them out they are a higher quality version of the actual version that is in the card's original art the only thing that's kind of unfortunate about this is that you have to wait for a particular celebration to come out um, that revolves around the certain character for there to be a HD version of the card right so if you want some specific like I don't know cooler card you have to wait till the next cooler celebration or you'd have to kind of go through and find it from when I've posted it right that though is every single option that I am personally aware of for HD assets I know that was quite quite a bit excuse me but I wanted to give you literally every single option that I was aware of. These different HD asset options give you a plethora of ways to be able to kind of get what you're looking for out of HD assets. Um, and obviously gives you lots of different options for the particular project that you may be using these for. Or if you just want the card art for your wallpaper, you know, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything that we discussed will be linked in the description below if you would like to check it out. Thank you so much to all of the people who created these different options from Hydros to the guy who made Waifu 2X to the people who run the wiki and everybody.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Happy being to out. Peace.